Let's go! Bitcoin is very volatile right now. Today it has been very volatile and of course a lot of people are wondering, should we buy Bitcoin right now? Should we sell Bitcoin right now? What should we do? I am going to tell you exactly what I think is the best thing to do right now with Bitcoin. We're also talking about Ethereum. We're talking about the levels you need to pay attention to on Bitcoin, on Ethereum. Also, I'm going to bring you a setup here. I'm going to bring you a setup that is going to be very important in the coming hours. So make sure that you watch this full video because yes, this is going to play out in the coming hours. I will tell you all about it, guys. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you trading videos every day. Today with a second video because Bitcoin is so volatile and as you know, I have been updating you on everything that's been going on over on Twitter, but let's kick this off and we are going to continue where we left off and we talked about not buying Bitcoin at the top. So I released this video. We uh, anticipated the breakout uh, one day ago with this video and then once we had a big breakout, I did tell you to not buy Bitcoin at the top. And why did I say that? Well, because I started to see people say that, yeah, we should just load up right now. And I was looking at my support and resistance levels and I saw that we were not even breaking my levels here still people were screaming that we should buy going into this massive resistance right here. So, but let's continue. Okay, so then we had a huge dump. I mean, you had a couple of consecutive candles here and uh, yeah, this was a uh, dump of almost 6%. But if you follow me on Twitter, you notice that I put out this one. So the price was going down and we were right at the edge of, uh, of this brown box right here. You can see the price was at 37,846. And I said, my levels as a reminder, brown boxes are usually very strong. In other words, even if we break down, there's a decent chance that we may just wake. If we get a full breakdown, you need to watch 35,873. So how did things play out? Well, we went down, but so far this is only a wick. And I'm telling you guys, these brown boxes, they are not to be messed with. These are very important to keep track of. This is why I always remind you whenever you have some serious price action going on, I am going to put out my exact levels to keep track of. So let's continue. What more did I update you on? Yes, I updated you on Ethereum and I said that right now we are on minor support. But if we're but that we are bouncing, which is a very good sign. And then I have to make a clarification here. As you know, during the last couple of videos, I did say that, uh, you know, taking profit on Ethereum up here at 1,750, when you're sitting at hundreds of percent in profit, it's good to take that out because it makes it easier for you to hold when the bit when the, yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever asset, when the price dips, it's easier for you to hold that dip, hold through it. And this is how it looked based on my resistance level, sorry, support level. And this is how it played out. Again, we did only wick down here and this held like a boss. Now, sure, if you have strong hands you can hold through this dip, no problem. But for most people, it's very easy to say that and uh, then you actually see the price start going down and then you sell at the bottom. That is why I am telling people to take profit when you are at the top and then hold through the dip and in fact also perhaps accumulate on the dip. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's easier said than done, but this is what you got the Satoshi Stacker YouTube channel for, right? And then lastly, what I updated you on was the uh, altcoin strategy video because some people are telling me like, should we go all in in altcoins right now? And no, because you should always have a strategy. And for example, my strategy has been from December up until now. And this is a very important video to watch if you ha have not already watched it. Make sure to watch it after this video because it's also important to understand the thought process of how to actually think. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out that right now you should be thinking about what you're going to do for the next six to 12 months and not you know, reacting too much to these price movements that are happening right now because you should already have your strategy in place. And as you know, I'm always sharing my strategies on YouTube, on Twitter, whatever I am doing, you get insight to. If I am getting wrecked, you are going to see that as well. But so far, so good. Now, I want to share something with you because if you remember last Sunday, I put out those videos talking about the traditional markets opening up and how that was going to lead into a massive bull run if they opened green. Now, you can see here that from the 31st of January, price has gone up, right? So we had this uh, consolidation right here, but then we continued right back up. And I can almost tell that this is probably going to be exactly the same with Bitcoin. So let's go to the 1st of January. I can almost, uh, February, I mean, I can almost, yeah, I can bet that this is 
it. First of February, we had a massive pump in Bitcoin. We had a massive pump in the uh, traditional markets as well. And in fact, you form this kind of bull flag right here. And we have hit the target from this bull flag on traditional markets. What we want to see right now is we want to see this previous resistance flip into support if we are to go down here. In other words, if this uh, opens up red, and by the way, this opens up in a couple of uh, hours, I think two hours, so make sure to pay attention to this. Well, if they open red, then uh, take a look at this support right here because you could see a bounce here and then you know we can continue to the upside that's one scenario just understand that you have this support so don't expect this to just free fall here but if they open green we are right back into price discovery mode because we are already at an all-time high here on a traditional market so i mean this can just shoot up very quickly and that is also going to affect bitcoin and this is what i talk about when i say that I try to find some catalyst, like for example, right now, we are forming some consolidation right here. And this is a good floor because if you zoom out, you can see that we went down to these levels at $30,000. We went up and then we had consolidation right here, right? Went up, consolidation right here, up, consolidation, up, consolidation, up. And are we going to see consolidation right here? You can see that the overall structure of the market is good. We are making higher floors on these consolidations. But if you look at the very, very short term, you can also see that we just made a lower high. So it's a bit indecisive right now. It's pretty much this brown box here that is preventing Bitcoin from going down to this level here at 35,847. But again, the catalyst we need to pay attention to right now is the traditional markets. If they are going to open up green, that may very well be the fuel needed for Bitcoin to get into this brown box again, and then we will take it from there. But remember, this is still going to be massive resistance here at 42,128. But if we break this red line, that is going to be very good news for Bitcoin if we can close above it. And guys, don't forget, if you want to start trading and get a nice bonus over on Femex, you can get $680 for free on this time-limited bonus. So make sure to sign up using my link and uh, then click on this link right here. You get all of the conditions right here. And also make sure to watch my trading tutorial at the end of this video. And is this a double bottom? No, this is not a bottom, double bottom according to me for two reasons. First off, this downtrend is not so long. So I don't like to see, you know, a very short downtrend like this. Ideally, it would go down, you know, perhaps something like this, continue for a bit, and then you see that double bottom, and then you start to take off. But also secondary, you see that this low is higher, uh, sorry, lower than this low. So for a double bottom, I would like the reverse. I would like this low to be low and this low to be higher. But other than that, sure, you can say that this is a double bottom. If we are going to break this level, that is potentially going to play out. And what is that target going to be then? Well, I would say a push towards this red level. But again, I'm not giving this pattern too much merit right now. So yeah, guys, short little update. Just pay attention to Bitcoin. Pay attention to all of these levels I've been talking about. Pay attention to the traditional markets and if they open green or not so yeah that's what i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to watch my trading tutorial popping up in the middle of this video right now and i will see you right there